let's go to our last puzzle set. Again, for those who missed it at the beginning of the stream, we solved the display house puzzle, or at least I'm pretty sure we solved it, which is the part one. And we got the phrase, numbers to art. Now, I don't know if that's referring to these numbers. So now it's finally time that I do some reading and we figure out what this, this art is about. I couldn't imagine having enough patience to paint nearly 70 square feet with just dots, but I love the effect they created in this master. Seeing people and pets relaxing in shade by the riverbank here was calming, especially after visiting the city's Silver Bean. I'm pretty sure it's this painting, which is in in the collection of the Art Institute of Chicago, which is why it mentioned the Great Bean, because that's a thing in Chicago as well. So I think we're just gonna we're just gonna take this. So there's our first one. A Sunday afternoon on the island of La Grande Jatte. After lunching on a traditional pea soup with sausage and bread, I stopped by the city center to visit this painting that inspired a novel and Oscar-nominated film. I loved the single composi composition that highlighted its namesake jewelry accent and could also see why it garnered comparisons to the Mona Lisa. I was similarly impressed with that painting during my previous stop. Noting the late hour, I regretfully moved on. Girl with a pearl earring. It's at The Hague which I, you know, I think makes sense. It's in the Netherlands. So does that make sense for traditional pea soup and sauce with sausage and bread? Is that a traditional food of the Netherlands? I don't know. I only had time to visit one of the other museums in the Golden Triangle, but I walked several minutes north to reach, which I walked several minutes north to reach. After admiring the statue of a seated artist outside the museum's entrance, I then headed inside to search for his famous masterpiece. My eyes were able to observe all the details up close, and I thought it was quite bold of him to include himself alongside the other members of the court. But it did make for an interesting perspective. Okay, so step one, Golden Triangle Museums. I think we're looking at the Prado Museum because I see a person sitting out front. So let's go to the Prado Museum. Who is that sitting out front? Yeah, this person. I don't know who, who Velezquez is, but this is who's who's sitting out front. Yeah, there he is. Okay, so it's this it's this painting. Las Las Mani Las Meninas. I was enamored by the bright and relaxing atmosphere in this light filled impressionist painting. Each of the painter's friends and eventual wife looked like they were having a fun time in the restaurant's balcony, and I wished I could join them at their casual gathering, or at least play with their small dog. So this one has a lot of clues. Could it be this? This looks like a restaurant balcony. It looks like a bunch of people having fun. There is indeed a small dog. The only thing that I need to know for sure is if um, this person's eventual wife was in here. <laughs> While my attention was initially drawn to the gods and graces milling around the garden, in this painting, a closer inspection revealed the inclusion of hundreds of plant species, quite an aptly named artwork. I noticed the artist didn't use the oil paintings I had observed in my previous stops, though the colors and fabrics were masterfully labor layered. Heading out, I treated myself to some gelato to celebrate a very satisfying finale. So are we in Italy? Finale? Oh, no! Wait. Do I have to reorder these? I'm gonna have to reorder these, aren't I? That's why he keeps talking about what he saw at his previous location and going across the pond. Continuing my clockwise tour, <laughs> I made my way southeast to visit the Golden Masterpiece. Showing two figures embracing each other. While I had seen the painting referenced in multiple films, I loved being able to examine it in person. The duality between the three-dimensional faces and the two-dimensional robes was fascinating, and I spent some time admiring its geometrical and floral patterns. Is it the kiss? Those are two golden figures. They're embracing. I don't know if I would say the faces are three-dimensional, but I guess they do have more detail than the robes. Uh, no museum trip would be complete without visiting this famous painting that depi depicts melting objects. Oh, okay, this is Salvador Dali. I know this one. I mean, I'm guessing. <laughs> I skirted the south side of the lake and continued my eastward trip. Although my following stop would take me to the city where the original is housed, I wanted to take the chance to see the smaller, more vertically composed replica 
of this painting by an American artist. Though the creature wasn't quite anatomically correct, I like the harbor, waves, and dynamic position of the rescuers. Painting all these copies must have been tons of effort. Watson and the Shark is an oil painting by American painter John Singleton Copley, depicting the rescue of the English boy Brooke Watson from a shark attack in Havana, Cuba. And I'm going to just note over here that this is in Detroit before I forget. <laughs> I'm going to go back and get all these locations um, for when we order them. All right, one more painting to ID, and then we can get to sorting and hopefully indexing and hopefully, hopefully solving the puzzle. After visiting the city's famous painted Victorians, I headed downtown to kick off my two-part road trip of famous paintings. While it was controversial back when it was painted, I was excited to see this depiction of the painter's wife, a hallmark of its art movement. Loose brush strokes and strong, non-natural colors were on full display here, and I thought it was extremely expressive. Yeah, it's a painting by Henry Matisse depicts, depicting his wife. All right, yeah, let's get to sorting these now. Kick off my two-part road trip. So yeah, we're going to start with woman with a hat, huh? So where was the one that said half? Delighted with the first half of my journey, I took a short break before continuing. So this was the melting objects um, dolly. Although my following stop would take me to the city where the original was housed. So immediately after Watson, we know is luncheon at the boat party. And he says, I skirted around the south side of the lake and continued eastward to get to Detroit. So here's Detroit. We skirted the south side of the lake and went eastward. eastward. So, oh, we came from Chicago, right? I traveled across the pond to visit a regal museum. So this one was Guernica. So across the pond means they're coming from the U.S., right? And then I only had time to visit one other museum in the Golden Triangle. So we know these two actually go in this order because we found them earlier. But the question is, where did they come from across the pond? Was Should we assume... They, mm, should we assume that the entire first half of the trip was... It, wait, it did say road trip at one point, didn't it? Two-part road trip. Okay, so I think the first part was all in the U.S. And then I think the second part was in Europe. So I'm going to put these Spain ones here because it says for Guernica that they traveled across the pond. So that means this is, I'm guessing, the second half of their road trip. I noticed the artist didn't use the oil paintings I had observed in my previous stop. Paintings there. Wait, Primavera said it's the final? Yeah, you're right. Primavera is the last one. Continuing my clockwise tour. Okay, which one was this? Uh, this was the, the two figures embracing. So this was the kiss. So we're doing a clockwise tour in Europe, it sounds like. Where are our other locations? We had two in Spain. We end at Italy. So I think we go from Spain to France, to the Netherlands, to Vienna. Spain, France, Netherlands, Vienna, and then Italy. That would be that would be a clockwise trip. I like that. I passed, okay, yeah, this is what we need. I passed a famous steel monument on my way out of the city. So that's the St. Louis Archway, right? Passed a famous steel monument on the way out of the city and found it somewhat amusing that my travels took me in the opposite direction from the one for which the structure is known. Opposite direction from the one for which the structure... So what is the structure... What is the gateway arch known for? Oh, it's known as the gateway to the west. Ah. Okay. So is that... Is that... So that means we're going east. But that... I mean, that still doesn't really help me because both... I mean, Chicago's kind of north, but it is still east. New York is very east. I mean, it makes more sense that they would go, what, from, so we went from San Francisco. It would just make sense to go to St. Louis, followed by Chicago, and then over to Detroit and D.C., and then New York at the end. That just makes sense. So, I, but I think that's what I'm going with. I think I'm going St. Louis here and I'm going with these three in this order. All right, so we have identified our paintings. We have ordered our paintings and now we have numbers to art. 
numbers to art. I assume we're using these numbers. Let's just index into the artworks, huh? And hope that that gives us something. Okay, so the fourth letter of woman is an A. The third letter of vineyards is an N. Promising. S. W. E. R. That spells answer. <laughs> C. E. R. I. S. And E. Surize? It's a bright or deep red cl color. All right, well, let's try it. We go to resident services. Part one of this location was your house. Part two of this location was Jolly Red's treasure trawler. And we're trying Sarice. Hooray, that's correct. We've done it. Um, so that just leaves emergency meeting and bulletin board to the best of my knowledge. Have a great day, everybody. And as always, happy escaping. Thank you.